joining us for our word of the day. This morning as we're continuing through the scriptures, we're going to look at Psalm 63. Psalm 63 is another Psalm of David while he was in the wilderness running for his life from Saul. And the Bible actually begins the Psalm by saying that it's a Psalm of David while he was in the wilderness of Judah. And that's very important to know where he is and what he was going through. Because he's, he's in the wilderness, it's a, it's a dry place, it's a dangerous place, there's no food there, there's no water there, there's dangerous animals around, he can't find shade, so he's dealing with, with the heat and the sun and sunburn and all these things, he's running for his life from Saul. David is in a very bad place. And Psalm 63 is a, a prayer to God while he's in this wilderness. And look what it says, starting in verse number one. It says, O God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you in a dry and thirsty land with no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips will praise you. Thus will I bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul will be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips when I remember you on my bed and meditate on you in the night watches because you have been my help. Therefore, the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul clings hard to you. Your right hand upholds me. Remembering where David is at this moment helps with the imagery that he gives. Remember, he's in a a desert place. There's no water, but he says, God, I thirst for you while I'm in this dry and thirsty land. There's no food, but he says, Lord, I will satisfy myself with you as I'm satisfied with a good meal. He has no shade. He's dealing with the sun and the heat, but he says, Lord, I comfort myself in the shade of your wings. God, you protect me. Lord, you provide for me. God, in this difficult place, in this difficult situation, in this wilderness experience, you are what I crave. Lord, yeah, I need water, but I want you more. Lord, I need food, but I want you more. Lord, I need shelter, but I want you more. God, in my darkest time, in the most dangerous situation I am, I'm in, God, I seek you. And that's a prayer that we should all pray when we're in our desert place, when we're facing difficulty and, and trials and tribulations and we're at a point in our life where we don't know if we're going to survive another day maybe physically maybe emotionally or spiritually we're just like God it's so much I don't know if I can go on but God I just need you I want you I want to spend more time with you I want to know you more I want to want to be satisfied with your presence and your work thanks so much for joining us for our word of the day be sure to be back here Monday as we continue through Scripture. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend worshiping God with your church family. Be, be faithful to the house of God that you're a member of and, and go and be a blessing to your pastor. Be a blessing to the other uh, church members there. Uh, sing the songs. Praise God. Pray with them. Worship with them. And just have a wonderful time worshiping God. Have a great weekend and have a blessed day.